What's up everybody, I'm Jack the Rip, and I'm joined today by my lovely engineering assistant, my daughter, Brinley. Hi. And this is a Making the Beat Chambara edition. Let's go. Chambara, chan chan bada bada, chambara, chan chan bada bada, chambara, chan chan bada bada. All right, everybody, before I jump into this video, I want to give a quick shout out to Joseph Lee, the man behind the uh, Chambara video. Joe is an extremely talented director, so check him out on YouTube. Follow him, like, subscribe. He's uh, doing some big things over there at Team Red Pro. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump into this video. Uh, I started out like I do with most of my tracks with the uh, sample. I usually uh, just kind of lay down a generic snare over the metronome just something to help me keep time that's about as far as i get into the beat and then i get the work chop in the sample the sample uh more often than not gives me an inspiration on how to structure the drums so this here i took the beat i hit up with the low pass filter and uh And that's the main beat to the song. I just copied it to a different group and hit it with a low pass filter. And uh, it's a nice way to change up the rhythms and also add a nice low end punch to the track. The sample itself is. So that's the four or five seconds worth of audio divided on the 16 pads. And it just kind of had an ominous kind of vibe to it. And uh, a lot of my music's kind of dark and moody like that. So punch that in over the rhythm. And here's the primary drums. And for those of you uh, not familiar with the machine, um, whatever drum strikes you got quantized or programmed in to that pattern uh, lights up right here in front of you so you can see where it's working. Uh, the beat that drives the rhythm that drives the beat um, originally was 80 BPM it was more like and uh, originally I chopped it at a slower tempo I sent it to Shingo Shingo said once you speed it up just a little bit and uh, see what it does, and then uh, send it back to me. So, ended up taking it from 80 to 100. So, uh, that was a good call on his part because that increasing the bpm really brought the vibe and brought the energy and brought out the lyrics fit the video well and um the rest is history so once i got the uh main structure the main skeleton of the beach um laid out i went back and i added some little things to it like this uh, little sword clang sound effect and i, I layered that in on every other snare hit it's a little details like that that really kind of take a track over the edge add something to it it reflects the content on what he's talking about, it fits the music, it just complements the vibe. Um, 
So once I added that in, sent it to Shingo, he mixed it down, and then he added a couple of sound effects uh, to complement it as well. And I'm super happy with how the track came out. It's well-rounded. It's uh, probably one of our more popular songs. So I could not be happier with how it came out. All right, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Special thanks to my baby girl, Brinley, for helping her daddy out today. And I'll see you next time. Peace.